House Without a Mate, dat is het derde stuk uit het drieluik van uh, Gorge Leon en Simone Ottoloni. En dat speelt zich af in het interieur van het Zonneveldhuis. En het is eigenlijk een duizelingwekkende reis uh, langs performances, lezingen ook twee dagen lang, installaties. En dat alles in het interieur van het Zonneveldhuis over de thematiek van de meid, uh, de bazin en de dienaar, zullen we maar zeggen. En uh, ja, een notie van vrijheid of onvrijheid die daaruit voortkomt. Het is, uh, ja, zeker in combinatie met de voorstelling en de film, is het uh, ja, van duizelingwekkende porties. Ongelooflijk wat, uh, wat een hele enge thematiek lijkt. Uh, wat is de taak van de huishoudster uh, in het leven van, uh, van een, een gezin? Uh, dat dat eigenlijk door alle polen van de maatschappij uh, naar buiten komt en uh, ja, een fascinerend werk oplevert. Uh, you're a subject of the, the things you deal with. It's actually it's the maid, but uh, the mechanism behind this uh, situation of master and slave isn't it a, a broad mechanism which is uh, in everywhere to be found in society between sexes, in labor, in the domestic uh, environment? I think indeed it is. I mean it. I think with the subject, it's almost like um, it's almost like a, a home itself. If you, um, depending on which door you open or which cupboard, you get another view on it. Um, Sirina, uh, no, Irina Siriad, I hope I say her name right, um, was speaking about the 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 house as a model for society, and uh, the segregation and, and the hierarchy is reflected. In, in the home and, and the way the architecture is designed. The concept of, of serving is, is uh, and like you say, the master-servant relationship is not only something built within ourselves and our own psyche, but is, you know, in our relationships, in our work relationships. Uh, sadomasochism, for example. Do you believe that uh, in Western society we somehow got to a peak of freedom, but that freedom still has all kind of traces uh, of the master-slave relationship? I think uh, freedom is a very personal experience. I don't think it's something that we have realized. I think it's a concept, um, but I think that there's always a a very personal struggle. I think it's something we can find within ourselves as individuals at moments perhaps. I think it's something... Uh, I mean, I, I, not to disregard laws and, 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 uh, and justice, but I think true, let's say, freedom is something one has to develop or, or to access within oneself. Uh, could you say something about uh, the relation of uh, curating here uh, with the lectures and the performances and the other two pieces uh, in the festival? Yeah, I mean, I think the, the mediums give you completely different experiences. Of course, when you watch a performance or a film, you absorb things in a different way. Um, but, I mean, that was one of our goals with the project, is to really open up um, yeah, different mediums and different ways of sharing and exchanging ideas and information about servitude and particularly the, the, the woman as domestic worker. I've been to Hollywood, I've been to Redwood, I've crossed the ocean for a heart of gold. I've been in my mind, it's such a fine line that 
keeps me searching for a heart.